محمد ولكن محمد ولكن I just never got the signal. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 you know, I thought you weren't getting it. Uh, th- thank God, now you got it now. So. Finally, <laughs> finally. Yeah. Uh, you're like this yeah. guy's. This guy's like bottom set. He's like you know, like the special <laughs> educational. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, like I, I had to, I had to teach you about pigs in Minecraft. You know, and you know, you know. I had to... <laughs> uh, it's so cool. Speaking... It's so cool that that clip on, on on YouTube. That's so cool. You know. Yeah. Speaking so of the, the the yeah the p- pigs in Minecraft, we actually spoke today about cats eating halal food. Um, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, like you know, the companies. This was a discussion today about the you know feeling guilty about the cat. Is it eating a halal mouse or is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just thought that was uh, so so yeah. kind of like hilarious. Yeah, but, exactly. Yes. So what have what have you been up to, Wilkins? Well, what, 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 have, been, what have you been up to? Well, um, well, I came to Turkey about three months ago. And, Are you in uh, Turkey now? Last we spoke, you were in Morocco. That's right. Yeah. So I left and okay. I came to Turkey in 30th November, and I'm going to. Uh, I'm about to go to Georgia, so I'm going to leave Turkey in about a week. Wow. Yeah. 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 I just decided I'll travel around. Ibn, and, this is yeah. proper Ibn Battuta. I, I'm loving. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Basically, Ibn Battuta. You know. You know. Uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I wonder. I wonder what other aspects are going on. In <laughs> I was gonna say, but <laughs> I, I want the full <laughs> experience. You know, <laughs> this is. <laughs> that's, a, that's an amazing, uh, you know, like a travel agency brochure right there. Do you want the full Ibnubatuta <laughs> experience, or you want the? <laughs> Those that don't know Ibn Battuta, wherever he would settle, uh, in between, he would have to kind of obviously not only experience the local cuisine, but he'd have to marry I into the local. Well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> yeah, you know, but, but, you know, but, but you know, I, I know I'm laughing about it, um, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what, gave, what gave you that impression? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, but you know, you know, I, I, I uh, you know, I woke up this morning. It's like it's three hour. Uh, Turkey's three hours ahead of the UK, by the way. So sure. Okay. So, yeah. So it, it's it's a good time. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, I was <laughs> listening to you, and you know what was so interesting? I haven't been watching you for months now. But it's nice when I came. I came back. Sorry, it's, it's, it's nice. <laughs> that's, 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 that wasn't nice. Putting a full stop there. You go. You know, I haven't been watching you for months. It's nice. Full stop. And you're like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a public roast. <laughs> So, uh, so I uh, so yeah, no, I, but it's nice that I come back to to oh, you this sorry, morning. That was and... the new sentence. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. And, 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 um, and it's it's nice that even though I'm in a very different headspace than I was uh, a few months ago, mm-hmm. I still feel that I can resonate with what you're saying and stuff like that. And yeah, I find I find that amazing because I, I thought that I thought that now a, a lot of things in my mind have internally changed. My wow. relationship with my faith has changed and stuff like that. Okay, but but still, still relationships I, I, have changed yeah, as well. My relationships have changed too. So and I'm just thinking, I just th- and I'm just happy that you know I can still resonate with what you're saying. That what you're saying still 
resonates with me. Uh, not that you have to resonate with everyone, but uh, at least for now, you resonate with me. So that's great, you know? So. <laughs> I have to say, that's like the, 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 the kind of, <laughs> that's like one of the most, like, I don't know, like surprising, different kind of compliments. <laughs> yeah, well, you still resonate with me for now, so. <laughs> It's like a proper backhand compliment. <laughs> we have fun here. We have fun here. So I do. I do have some questions and and or, yeah, or just, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. So the first, because I I was and oh I wanted to mention I wanted to mention a couple of things before I ask the questions, right? So the first thing is you know you told the story about Mutalimus and it's just it, it, I felt I felt this like nostalgia because I actually you you've told that story before uh on oh, okay yes you've told it before and i because i can remember it because like i was playing i used to uh many months ago i used to watch you while playing other games like minecraft or uh i was watching on on, on the ps uh playing one stuff and and i can remember playing one maybe Hunter, was it that was That's it from the was it from like the Monday nights before? Yes, I think like yeah. yeah, I think so. Because yeah. I don't think I've said it in this meaning with Malm thing, but I think before. Yeah, yeah. But you didn't yeah. say it in this much detail. I think I feel like I've yeah. gone into yeah. more detail uh, this yeah, time. Yeah. I definitely, cool. yeah, this was a lot yeah. more detail, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I remember it because I was playing Monster Hunter. I, I can even remember the mission I was on in Monster Hunter wow. while well, listening to you, you know, so that it was like it was a nice nostalgia feeling, you know. Anyways. And then also to add to the the sub frequency thing you were having, so in Japan in the arcades yeah. they play a particular frequency of sound to keep animals away and to keep young uh, teenagers away because teenagers their ears are still sensitive they can hear this particular frequency. Yeah. So so the so wow. the arcades in Japan they actually do this. So the, but if your hearing is not good, it doesn't bother you. But for some people whose hearing is sensitive, it actually hurts them. Yeah. So, so yeah. So so it, so it just has the old people in the end and the deaf, right? <laughs> and you got all the the deaf youngsters are wandering in like aimless. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, but that's that's a genius idea, though. I, I not, yeah. not about the deaf people, but about no, no, this no, genius no, no, idea about the yeah, yeah to yeah, deter yeah. the younger uh, people you, from. The riff rap, you know. Yeah, I don't exactly. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but just to get on with my questions, yeah. Um, yeah, let's get on with my questions now. Move I'm joking, I'm joking. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So so you were saying, you know, like I, I was like impressed with Tuff, you know, and you said he has so much wisdom, and I was kind of impressed that a lot of his wisdom, like you said, was echoed in in the the you know from the prophet as well, right? How how did he have such an amazing wisdom at such a young age? Because I'm yeah, like this is so yeah, so because he, he yeah, his travels, or is it because so, like wow. yeah, you so know, Tarafa, yeah. Uh, Tarafa, he's he, he's seen as incredible, like for for such a young man, because when he passes, he's either twenty seven or twenty six or something. Yeah, now for somebody so young to have so much wisdom because you know when you hear his poems he's talking about life and battles right. and he's talking about right. you know the, like the, the, the time will tell you yeah. and you're like yeah. whoa yeah, yeah, but yeah. i feel i feel that you know in many parts of the world historically so pre-modernity um there was uh and 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 it was more amplified in some places than others, that there was not really much of an uh, infantilized period for children. So oh. children had an incredibly, like, so they had a stage of just sheer dependency. So let's say yeah. they're five years old, you know, they're just really dependent. But as soon as they came of some uh, yeah, like capacity, like set, yeah. no, even no, no, before that, I feel like let's say there's seven that they can now wow. talk, understand things. Yeah. I feel that they they had to start contributing, uh, contributing to the household chores and <laughs> kind of the, the survival 
Uh, you see this, you see this in like old, like Hans fairy tales, for example. Uh, when I was younger, I read these, and these are like, and Brothers Grimm, these are, uh, you see like uh, boys who are 12, but they're like as big as men in some cases, and, 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 and in some, they're, they're expected to get married right. in some cases. So I don't know, so I don't know about, I'm not saying they physically looked like, yeah, I, adults, I know, I know, some they, of them do, but, but, but they but, were but, treated but, like right. they were adults. So, right. as in, yeah. so, so mm. for example, yeah, yeah. I, uh, w w I, know when that, I, I know that, yeah. in, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was in uh, Pakistan many years ago studying, I remember going with uh, this one time with my uncle and we stopped off at this garage. So there's this mechanic and so they go, uh, so they call a, a, a lot of, the, even in some of the Arab world, they'll call people like, let's say, Ustad. Yeah, like teacher, uh -huh. you know, yeah, it doesn't teacher, mean teacher, yeah. but they'll call like a mechanic ustad, they'll call a barber ustad. Uh, yeah. So, so they, uh, so they're saying, look, uh, ustad kubala, call the ustad, yeah, the mechanic, the main, you know, call the main man of the garage. So, so this, uh, this guy comes and whatever, and he's like, and so we think it's him, and he's like, no, <laughs> he's like, he's coming. So he moves, and there's this literally like this 11 year old or a 12 year old who's like, he's, he's down there. And he's kind of, and he, and he comes and he's like, uh, he's kind of drinking this water or something. And he's like, and he's talking and his mannerisms are as though he's an adult. He's like, wow. don't worry about it. We'll get it sorted. Uh, it's probably this thing. Uh, tell mm -hmm. him to line it with him. And, and I'm just looking at this kid. <laughs> and I'm looking at my uncle. that, And he's acting like, a, like his mannerisms are as though he's an adult. So he'll yeah. be like, uh, and he's kind of drinking this bottle and he's putting it down like an adult would. And he's like, don't worry about it. Give us, give us an hour. We'll get this fixed. And, and so I, I, as we walked away, I said to my uncle, I was like, what the hell? That's a kid. And, and he said, yeah, but you know, he said, but it's a common phenomenon there that you get people that they, they kind of take on that role then. They kind of act mm. into it as well. They act like they grow, except they're just like mini adults. So they, they'll just act like, talk like adults and swear like, you know, they'll do the whole, the kind of whole sh spiel. But yeah, yeah I, I think what you're exposed to really changes you because I, I feel like, for example, my father was quite open to me about sexual matters, for example, even when I was as young as seven. Yeah, he would talk to me about sex and stuff like that, and I feel like that ha that made me Is more. This, if you mm. if you need if you're in any danger, just blink twice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Shall we send the? Shall, shall we send the back? Of it? I don't know. I can't tell whether both his eyes are blinking or. <laughs> okay, just just close both eyes, and I'll know to send some help. <laughs> no, but you know it's uh, no, but anyway. <laughs> but I do feel like uh, you know it. It definitely helped because like there are so many. Uh, and, and and but the, but then you know I, I was once reading this science fiction story yeah and the world is ending and all of that and the in this part of the book um, uh, they're in the hospital room the, the the mothers in the bed the children are there now the adults are about to talk about some serious stuff so the the father takes the children out of the room and I was thinking why are they sheltering or cocooning the children from this discussion, you know, why, you know, why? And even uh, there's another scene, um, they're underground and the elevator to the underground has uh, collapsed, right? And they're all kind of trapped down there, yeah. Again, the parents don't really tell the children what's going on. They just kind of keep the children kind of like calm and stuff like that. But I just feel like, what is this infant? And obviously it's written by an American. And I feel like there is this culture in America um, to, protect children from anything that will harm them, anything that will hurt their feelings, you know? And I feel that's weird. That's mollycoddling, right? You know, you know. Okay. But what's your opinion? I'm not a father, but you are. So what's your opinion about that mollycoddling? Right, okay, yeah. so to kind of coddle the, the children. And I feel that, right, um, are we talking about sexual stuff? Or are we talking uh, about just anything? No. Because I think it's instinctual. instinctual. So I think yeah. it's instinctual to uh, want to prevent, protect children from harm, uh, to protect every, like yourself oh, and yeah. the near and dear, and especially yeah. the vulnerable. I think it's instinctual. Right. But then, 
so now what happens is so let's say that's a horizon it's kind of like so okay so there's some things which are clear ostensible uh, uh ostensibly harmful okay so that's understandable clearly and then yeah. as the kind of that this gradient comes down i think it comes to a point where people may not be sure but maybe they just feel some unsettled nature about it so they yeah. they it's still part of that gradient for them even though it's not maybe harmful like how you know protecting them from kidnappers and preventing them from you know protecting them from all of this stuff that comes down and then mm. you think well okay what about uh, because are we talking about the uh, sexual awareness and knowledge well, around I, yeah yeah why not yeah yeah so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so but i i do think because it is like because people find out, kids find out, of course. Uh, and, and more so nowadays with the internet, you know? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, they do find out. And you'd rather... I get it, but it is a... Um, it's... it's. You see, nobody... This is the thing. You know, earlier on, we were, we were speaking about relationships. Yeah. And I said that, you see, nobody teaches us how to handle relationships. Exactly, and yeah. equally, nobody really teaches us how to parent. Because there's always a uniqueness to your scenario. Because even the child, even you, are in many ways you. I mean, you, there's there's you know we're, we're, there's generalization. We're we're all humans and so on. But we're very unique as well in some ways, like a, mm -hmm. a particular kind of personality and so on. So nobody teaches us what is. And I and I don't. I'm not saying there is a perfect way to do it, but. Mm -hmm we're kind of winging it along the way and people f i don't know like they think well hmm at what point do we talk about certain things and and how so for example public display of affection this is right. another uh, how much yeah. affection should be displayed in front of the kids yeah yeah, yeah. so mm. i don't know i guess this is a a debate you know it's a discussion <laughs> And some people, there may be zero, you know, even sitting on the same sofa, maybe like, what the hell are you doing, woman sitting here? Can't you see there's kids here? <laughs> you know, like, I mean, if you if you go back a few decades, yeah, yeah, you know. so there'll be to to maybe holding hands to some people is yeah. too much. To maybe yeah. putting your arm around, having a hug, maybe a peck, maybe a kiss, <laughs> maybe a full on kiss to some people maybe i i don't know like what you see and the culture culture will oh my god you see i don't know because culture will kind of shape uh to some extent uh, definitely, I think it will be the greatest. Actually, yeah, maybe one yeah. of the greatest denominators in in kind of singling uh -huh. uh, in con in result in, in kind of creating a consequence of that, a result of that. Yeah, so, you know, I yeah, mean, what exactly. are your thoughts? Do you feel uh, that I, that's I, I, like a full-on like PDA, I, I, the I, public I, display I, of affection? Um, you know, I, I I prefer societies to have that because you know I've been. Did you do, you do you mind me asking? and it doesn't have to be or you don't have yeah. to answer it at all yeah. but w when you grew up because you said your father was uh, very open about discussing uh, sexual matters was pda very like a public display um, at home something very uh, normal they, common they, 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 they kept it in the bedroom anyway so you know so yeah, <laughs> well, well yeah. okay well yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's but, okay. but, yeah, you know, that's, 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 uh, just the way that was said. <laughs> we kept it in the bedroom. <laughs> well, so long as they didn't have you in the bedroom whilst they kept it in the bedroom. <laughs> Unfortunately, they didn't lock the door, you know? So anyway. <laughs> You're joking oh. now. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, this, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the consequence if you, uh, if you <laughs> don't hide it away. <laughs> You're going to have your child wandering around the globe. 
Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. But, I, yeah, it's, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, it's one of those things that I'm, uh, I, I'd like to learn more about and how people, because it's, it's honestly, I, I genuinely feel like I don't know what is the, you know, how do, how do people do it? I, I'm curious about that. Yeah. I'm curious about not how do they, people. not how do they do it? How do they, I'm talking about the PDA, the public. Yeah, PDA, PDA, right, right, right. <laughs> You need to, you know, a few tutorials on YouTube. There are plenty of them. You thought a char mufti needs to know that. <laughs> Very blessed are the naive and the innocent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. But you know, the, the the thing, you know, you know, they say traveling really opens your mind, and I, I've I've yeah. experienced that honestly because. Like you, you, and, and and even subtle things you, you you start to reflect on. I'll give you an example just to highlight the point. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, obviously, I use Airbnb to travel, and in fact, in Istanbul, I've stayed in like five places. I I was moving around, so I've been in different. I'm currently in the city center, but I was in different parts of Istanbul for the past three months. Yeah. And so there were apartments that I stayed in, uh, and and there are multiple rooms in one flat or one apartment and so the, the the owner would often rent out to men and women right so you know and so you know, <laughs> not in, not in. Yeah, right. so you're seeking one... you're seeking out multiple <clears throat> occupants at the same time but they had to be no, a, I, no, uh, it's, not, it's not even it's not even clear on the airbnb like you just think you're uh, uh, renting out a room but you don't know who the other occupants are and whatever and you don't know that it's mixed you just don't know because it's not obvious on the airbnb page but you go there and you find out there are other occupants and and, and like like for example like i said so there was one place that was that had an american woman and a thai lady as well right you know and uh, yeah and they all and you know we each had our own room and it was interesting to see what that felt like because for me, okay. I was like, "Ooh, I'm living with two women, great." But uh, no, but it, but it felt honestly, honestly, it felt normal. You know, it felt, it didn't sure, feel, sure. Yeah. It didn't feel sexual. It didn't feel, and the fact that we each had our own room, had, it gave us a sense of privacy despite sharing an apartment together. You know, like uh, even and in every place I've been in, I've had my own room, and I've had, I've had that sense of privacy, and it made me reflect on. Um, you know my own situation when like because when i was living in the uk and i had to live in i had to find my own place to live my brother and his wife wouldn't allow me to live with them uh, and they quoted religious reasons which was crap but uh, and then and then she also the wife was saying oh i need my privacy and even though <clears throat> they would have had a room for themselves and i would have had a room for myself if i had lived with them yeah Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that would have been sufficient for privacy. And I, I'm experiencing that it is sufficient for privacy. I'm experiencing how easy it is or how normal it feels just to live with other... Could I ask people. there, though, could I ask there, though, uh, uh, Muhammad, that, you see, is there a, uh, just to kind of unwrap that slightly, that is there a distinction between people living uh, as singles and people living as a couple? Because if you're, so for example, you've got, let's say, three single individual strangers who are living in a room. So I'm living in my room, you're living in your room, somebody's living in their room. And we may have a shared kitchen and lounge and maybe a shared bathroom, I don't know, or maybe not. Now, but then let's say we're a couple here and now somebody's... It, would that change the dynamics? Because I think as a I, couple, I, I, you may I, I, want I, I, more I, privacy. I lived in a previous place, yeah. And this, this place had like five rooms, right? Uh, and in fact, there was a couple that lived in one of the rooms. There was a Russian and a, China, a Russian lady and a Chinese man, right? Um, okay. Yeah. And yeah, and she was, the, their, their room was upstairs. Uh, yeah. And honestly, it felt like, there was no, uh, although there was one time where she was in the bathroom and I kind of opened the door and, and yeah, because she hadn't locked the bathroom. So, yeah, so I had to quickly close. So that did happen. That did happen. But I didn't see her. I didn't see her. But that, <laughs> so, so, so Is that, the, does that explain, does that explain the eye? The thing <laughs> no, no. But you know, the, 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 yeah, that did happen. 
that did happen. You know, <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. Th thank God I didn't see her again. Otherwise, my other eye would have gone. No. The <laughs> 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 no, anyway, but no, could no, I no. could I ask here? Yeah, could I ask? Uh, just adding to that, uh, what are the uh, because you were in the UK previously, right. or in a different country? Well, yeah. UK yeah. was the first yeah. scenario. Because yeah. you see, what? How would you uh, juxtapose the the houses that you're staying in in Istanbul, uh, taking into consideration privacy? With a UK house because I find yeah, UK houses are depends tiny, because, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because I yeah. find that the UK houses even if they're spacious but they're not actually that kind of private for separate yeah, entities yeah. of people because yeah. it's whereas yeah, I, yeah, when yeah. I've lived abroad I've seen that like one room is here and the other person you know right, 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 right. yes spacious that, that's, kind that, of yeah. That's how it is. How it is in Turkey? One room is there, one room is there. So it's like it's like so far apart. Yeah, you almost feel. So like doesn't that well. change the dynamic of sharing space? Because you're still yeah, kind of little, in your own. A, a little bit, but and and yeah, I, I admit that. I admit that. The point here, though, is that it's it, it. You know, this is one of the reasons why my my relationship to to faith has changed, and my relationship to religious people have changed, because religious people, and it comes back to this idea of guilt and suffering, a lot of people use their religion as a way of self-torture, yeah, self, and, and this is the thing that, I, and I've done this to myself, you know, I, I, I can say, finally, I, I feel like I, I can live almost guilt free, you know, uh, you know, but for a long time, I've been living with a lot of, uh, a lot of guilt, you know, <clears throat> about you know oh i'm sinning oh i'm committing sin oh i need to be a better muslim oh i don't want to ever incur god's wrath and so on and so forth you know and yeah and then sorry. a lot of people sorry it's, oh. just, the, it's just the way you're saying that but but like I'm you thinking, were saying I, but like you were saying the infantile yeah, yeah. the in, the, the childlike way of thinking yeah. about it. It is, it is childlike. Yeah, it the is inf child. infantilized. It is infantilized, yeah. yeah. You know, it is, it is, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I feel like, you know, the truth of the matter, because I, I notice as well in many of your um, discussions, when, when people ask you a question like music, you say, well, it can't, you can take whatever interpretation helps you, I guess. But the reality is, the truth is, uh, God's perspective, I, I, I think, I'm thinking about it now. Maybe God doesn't have one perspective, but it doesn't matter. The point is, the truth lies somewhere, right? And uh, and you know, it's either must, haram or must it? Must it? Well, because it could uh, be a, it could it just could be, be it interpretation. Could be yeah. It could be a continuous spectrum. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, absolute truth. I mean, I'm not talking about because because there's 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 truth that we can be that, that because we we don't have we have ways of trying to you know epistemology like right? we have ways of trying to figure out the truth but the truth is something we're, we're just sitting here uh, as ignorant fools trying to figure the, this stuff out right and sure yeah, but to the, the truth, best of our the truth mm. but the truth could be for example structure as opposed to the what fills the structure uh, right. it could be so so for example like let's say somebody uh you're trying to um, I don't know, like you're trying to teach people, so you say, well, okay, I'm going to teach them this to this, or you've got this lesson to fill it in with right. something. Now, that may right. be the reality, and maybe what you fill it in with is just something that helps them. It, right. It's not really an issue of truth, yeah. that, but, but right. helpful. It's helpful. Right. So if truth right, right, right. is something which, I, I guess that might be the Nietzschean uh, definition of truth as well, but that if truth is something which brings good, to right. you but yeah but okay sorry carry on yeah but yeah in any case i do feel faith uh, i'm not talking about religion because religion is a bit separate from faith i i feel you know uh because religion yeah. is the construct and then faith is something that's in, inside that kind of it's kind of like the fuel mm -hmm. to practice religion i i feel so faith, faith is the more primordial aspect of the whole thing um I feel, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, faith shouldn't be something that, that you beat yourself with or that you torture yourself with or that you feel guilty about. Yeah. And I feel that if you are becoming depressed, if you are feeling guilty, I feel like there's some, some you, you've misunderstood something, honestly, you know? And, you know, and that is something that needs to be worked on. And, you know, there are, uh, there's something I realized, and 
take it as you will. We feel guilty about actions that we perceive are wrong. Meaning, if we don't consider those actions to be wrong, automatically the guilt vanishes, right? So there are many there are many cases where we can talk about masturbation as an example, right? Uh, for you, I remember you. You have a video about you know okay. you, you know, I have a video uh, uh, about you need to finish this sentence because <laughs> I do not have, have a video yeah. about all these all these teachers who now have come out after many years saying, Oh, oh masturbation okay. is okay, it's okay, you know. And it's like okay, but for years they were saying it's haram, you know. And you know, and I I'm sure a lot of people struggled with this, you know. It was something that I personally struggled with, you know. Uh, not anymore. But uh, <laughs> no, but the thing is, but the thing is, like honestly, well, like, you ain't know, we ain't we all at ease knowing that it, we're now yeah, all at ease. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So, the, but the thing is, the thing is, like it's it, it's the point here is that something like for example, I mean, to use a, a really weird example, but like serial killers, right? They don't think murder is wrong, but that's why that's why they do it. Yeah. But my point, uh, my point to demonstrate but that, 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 that may be a, a, a that, that's, that may be a pathology though, like an an actual. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Something sure. wrong the point, in the actual brain structure. But the, but like you know, like how the Vikings, how they, you know, their way of burial, you know, they thought it was yeah. correct, but then. I, I don't know, it wasn't Ibn Battuta, but it was someone else, another travel writer. Yeah, Ibn Fadlan. Ibn Fadlan, right? And then, and, then, and then they were like, well, we find it crazy that you bury your dead. Like, isn't that humiliating, you know? So, you know, so just the way our morality I think is... you're absolutely, you know, there's a, a comment here. I'll just bring it up. There's, uh, there were two by the same person, actually, Rahim, um, where he said, uh, perhaps uh, guilt and shame based cultures. And, and he had a similar one where he had said uh, different cultures and places have different boundaries and taboos. Right. I think that's right. very well said uh, by Rahim. And I think what it's highlighting is that there are many. So I think there's, there's different th components to this discussion that there's, yeah. um, you know what? Actually, on a side note, I'd like to say, how about. Um, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll carry on with this, but how about we get you on a mind trap and yeah, you can I, I, unpack I, I, I a lot of things? I, want, I wanted to, I wanted to offer that. I didn't think uh, I was worthy, yeah. worthy to come to your show. Yeah, you're you. worthy, no. of course, you're worthy. You, you'd laugh your way into it. You, the, yeah, yeah, you I earned you the worthiness. Yeah, yeah. No, honestly, <laughs> so, I would love, yeah. I would love to, I would love to. Okay, love to. we'll, yeah. you know what, we'll, we'll do that uh, when we finish this. Uh, send me a message on um, Insta's a quick way, and then we'll talk up on WhatsApp, and we'll we'll be connected, and we'll set that up. Okay. Right. So uh, because I have not sent you messages on Instagram, but I, I haven't. I might. I, I might receiving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what to what to do? Send them, but if you feel they're not, just catch my attention. You'll you'll catch it. Just drop a comment, and then drop a message or something. You'll oh, you'll catch my fine. attention. And right. I'll, I'll look out for it, your page and yeah. we'll set it. But yeah. coming back to, to this to kind of like seal this discussion, yeah, I think that look at these cultures in our mind trap because that is something. Yeah, I, I think have. that would be I've epic. Grown yeah. up in Arabia. I've grown up in the UK. I've lived in different, I've even gone to Kuwait. I've lived in different countries. So I feel like I have something to say. And I yeah, let's do that. Quick. You know what? Let's you let's know. unpack that there because I think there's different components here. There's, there's the element of culture. So yeah. culture does shape a certain. It clearly shapes boundaries, to yeah. some to some extent, and it shapes taboos. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. but then also also, uh, you may find um, people. So so for example, let's come back to this point of shared accommodation. So you will find many people now. Let's say. Um, Many migrant communities, like let's say this is coming from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, places like that, where they lived for, you know, f forever in like these shared extended families, you know, grandparents, yeah. all the brothers, all the wives, all the kids. And all obviously they, it was normal, whole kind of extended yeah. families. Yeah. And now they're still trying it, but obviously the culture here is clashing and it's a struggle. So you may get 
people from the same co community, some of them saying, look, no, this is like, like, let's say you said, oh, I want to live with my brother and his, my sister-in-law or, and his wife. But the, the problem is they saying, no, you know, this is too imposing on our privacy. Right. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other, the other component in this is that sometimes you will get perfectly healthy people who, uh, not to say that these people ain't healthy, but people who are t in this context are totally healthy. But when they take on religion, so for example, they convert to Islam. I was speaking in one of my uh, perspective sessions with with uh, with someone, my one to ones from Patreon, and he's a convert to Islam mm -hmm. uh, for for a, for a, for a good while now. But he, this isn't the first. I've spoken to other people as well who had converted. And the reason convert is significant here is because they don't come from a culture where this was already there. So right. it's important because it then it can be kind of focused on yeah. that. What they found was the the minutia of detail, this kind of like, uh, you have to do this like this, this like this, this like this, put your hand over there, hand on this, do this, do that, make sure this, every hair is washed, make sure this, make sure. It resulted in a kind of religious, uh, religionized pathology that they kind mm -hmm. of found themselves, and, and they will describe to you that they before weren't this kind of a person that was, for example, guilt-driven. Right. Well, they weren't worried about guilt before like they right. uh, like they, let's say and some of these guys like so let's take this one person as an example anonymous but he was from a religious he wasn't so religious but he came from a religious background he wasn't an atheist but he, okay they never had so many to do's and don'ts but he never had this kind of guilt and now then not right now but then he found himself becoming very guilt uh burdened and laden with like oh my god has this happened oh my god ocd and right. he wasn't like that right. so and and now you see some psychologists will speak about religious ocd as right. a separate genre because right. it seems to um but then you could say there are certain people who have religion and they don't get into OCD. I think, I think we, we go through that phase. I think you went through that phase in your 20s. And I gone through that phase as well in my early 20s. And I feel like I've gone out of that. Like right now, all I care about are just simply the five pillars. You know, these other do's and those as it were. Yeah. I'm, I, I feel like if I uh, want to do the don'ts, I'll do them. If I don't want to do the don'ts, I won't do them. It's like, so I, it will be as I like, so as I feel basically that that's what I've decided for myself. Right. But I will try and maintain the pillars because I do feel uh, just inside that Allah does want us to do those things like the prayers. And no, stuff. Like, look, yeah, there yeah. are things structure is yeah. important in life, just right. as routine, right. just as structure and having some structure, even yeah. like as a ritual, it serves right. as a kind of anchor yeah, point. Right. If, right. Even if in the moment you kind of do it robotically and mechanically, but maybe right. later on you will start to see, ah, oh, well, actually, you know, it's a, it's an anchor point for me. So I feel yeah. that, that it has, it's, it's very, I agree with you, you share that it's very valuable and incredibly important. You know what? Uh, so, okay, let's, yeah, what we'll so, do is, because uh, it's got quite, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, what I, 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 I'm, I'm, too, I'm too popular with you. That's why I'm taking all your time. But <laughs> let's. Um, but, but if we do a Minecraft, uh, Minecraft. No, like, let's, do a Minecraft. Uh, let's do yeah, a Minecraft. Let's do a Minecraft. Yeah, I, I want to definitely do it. I mean, I'm you know I'm gonna travel on the twenty fifth. I, I doubt we'll be able to do it in the next couple of weeks, right? But maybe. Uh, no, why March. not? I mean, if let me know yeah. if if you want to do it in the next couple of weeks, we'll do it in the next couple of weeks. It's cool. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. Uh, honestly, you know, anytime, anytime is great. Yeah, you know. Cool. Uh, but, okay. Yeah, yeah. Dro okay. Drop me a message then, and Instagram. we'll yeah, and, uh, yeah and we'll and then we'll connect from there. Right. Yeah. So we'll take it oh. from from there. Cool. Um, sure, sure, sure. It was lovely. Muhammad, it's lovely been lovely epic. Talk. Likewise, it's been yeah. wonderful and yeah. as always refreshing. <laughs> yeah, speak to oh, you and, yeah, that. it's been a great. It's been a great start to my morning, anyway. So that's uh, you know, yeah. All yeah. right, man. Yeah. Well, you yeah. get on with your day. Don't and disturb those those other guests as much. Let oh, them be. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs>
Right. The take far, care, man. Far away. The far away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Allah yeah. Akbar. Take care, man. Stay blessed. Yes, Salam um, alaikum. Much love. People, that was Muhammad Wilkinson. And we've gone on way too long. Whoa, we got to wrap this up. So, guys.